Good day, comrades. It's day 15, and it's a glorious day. Beautiful day. It's like 70 degrees outside. We got all this. We'll go ahead and cover this right up front. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, please. All up to you. We have a whole lot of stuff going on today. Look at this. So we've graduated the, the we graduated the kindergartners to first grade. Operations have been moved. We had to move everything because we're we're growing at rapid rates. The expansion rate of Camp Friendly Feather is off the charts. Um, we've got the kindergarten classroom has now become the home of the preschoolers. They're all such happy folks today. They have so much more room to roam around. So they, they inherited the, the kindergarten classroom. I was going to separate them all, but I'm not sure that would be a good idea, and you'll you'll see why I'm, I'm talking about that here in just a second. Um, then, this is the big thing, and I'm not sure this is going to work, but we'll try it out. They seem to be okay with it, because you see what's going on here. There's a whole lot of wagon. Oh, yeah. She's got her chuck wagon on. All right. Grace her time. I know. I know. Those baby peeps. Okay. So this is what we've done for the first grade classroom. I'm hoping that this works out okay. I'm, I'm a little yeah. concerned. I don't think there's any need for you to be piping up, miss. I'm a little concerned because of the open air quality of this. Like how there's really no way for it to retain heat. Gracie and I have been discussing this, and uh, we've come to the conclusion that we, we think it'll be okay because these guys are a little bigger now. Um, they have more featherage, and plus we've got the heat lamp over here that's kind of low. Need to straighten that up. That really bothers me. Um, but yeah, so I think these guys are I think these guys are going to be good. I, Falco is really enjoying the, the wing room, um, and so our fiddle and faddle they're really enjoying the the wing room. Lateralis is doing her own thing. Jack's just doing great. But this is what you guys really need to check out. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. Look at this. Dun, 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 dun. That's right. New preschool class. Just made it in. These little darlings. They took over the preschool class. Names are incoming. We've got a couple of them already. So, Royal King today, they got their chicks in, but they had a, a ton of, like, leghorns, and um, there was another breed I think they had, but those were the only ones that were specific, and they, were, they weren't sexed. Not, not, no, there were no sexed chicks today. Um, they did have a lot of ducks. Um, I seriously thought about ducks. But the, the um, very informative and kind girl at the Rural King told me that sometimes ducks don't really get along with chickens really well. So you have to be really careful with what breed you get of duck. Um, the other thing, too, is that they had turkeys. And I asked her about, because I thought a cool tom turkey strutting around might be cool. Um, she said that turkeys and chickens cannot cohabitate because uh, chicken poo is toxic to turkeys. So, fun fact, didn't know that. So, uh, yeah, there, there will be no turkeys in our, uh, in our camp unless something serious changes. <laughs> I don't see that happening. So, these are straight run. They could be boys. They could be girls. We don't know what breed they are. It's, it's just an Easter egg. You just don't know what you're going to get. Um, but these two right here, let me see if I can get some sunlight on them so you can see them real good. She called these two chipmunks little chipmunks. So guess what? This is Chip and Dale. If you if you remember Chip and Dale, indubitably. So Chip's got the dark head, Dale's got the light head. This fine fellow, I'm trying to decide. I can't decide if I want to go with Gwen because it looks like a penguin or James Bond because it looks like we're wearing a tuxedo classy chick and you know the cool thing you know how i keep misgendering the, the girls over here i can do that in here and it's okay because 
we don't know what they are. So they could be boys or girls, so I can use them interchangeably and <laughs> no fault. The other cool thing, this is so cool, you guys, and I, I re would really like to know what breed these chickens are, so if you have any clues, look at that. Can't really see it that well, but they have fur, <laughs> fur. they have feathers on their feet. We've got the tux wearing fellow here, and then one of these little gray ones too. I can't remember which one it is right off the top of my head, but they've got feathers on their, that go all the way down their legs onto their feet. So this is going to be great. I, I'm going to try my best, of course, as always, to keep these guys kicking so that uh, we can see what they end up as when they get older. She started throwing out chicken breed names. I'm good to know what I have sitting here. And, you know, that was four that I had to learn. Other than rainbow, that's not too hard. But yeah, so could be boys, could be girls. Mix of breeds. Mix, mixed breeds could be, possibly. Hard to say. Really excited about these guys. So we've got Chip Dale. Let me know what you think we should go with Mr. Tuxedo over here. I was thinking, again, Gwen for Penguin or Bond, James Bond. And then we've got the two little gray ones. I'll, I'll come up with something clever, have no doubt. And then, again, we'll review the first grade classroom. Much, much more spacious. You've got room to flap around. I, I think some of the some of what I thought were kerfuffles like they were like beating each other up isn't actually them beating each other up I think they were just flying around like testing out their wings and uh, it it would appear or would have sounded like a kerfuffle but I don't think they were actually uh, fighting each other I hope not I don't see any feathers getting pulled out or anything so I think they're good to go and then these precious babies. Okay, so I talked to the girl, again, the very knowledgeable girl at, R at Rural King, and she said that um, some breeds of chickens grow slower than others, but I did run into a gentleman that was picking up some replacements for some sapphire gems that he had purchased the same day I purchased mine. He said he got six of them and four of them died. So I don't feel like such a loser anymore because apparently there was just something up with those sapphire gems. Either they got jostled around too coarsely during shipping or they got too cold or they got too hot. Um, but I showed the, the girl pictures of Falco compared to these, these little kindergartners and uh, she agreed that it was very odd that they weren't growing. She said it was odd that they were still alive and not growing. Um, so she uh, she said that they might make it, they might not. So just to uh, keep doing what we're doing and uh, and see what happens. So um, if I would have lost four, he said he lost two, and then a couple days later he lost two more, and then he lost two more of a different breed that he'd bought that same day, or purchased, bought. Is that the right? I don't know if that's the right tense. Either way. Um, so yeah, he's uh, I, I he eased my my worried mind because I was. Uh, I was concerned that I was doing something wrong, uh, but I think I've come kind of, kind of come to the conclusion that it's like fishing. Like you go to the fishing store and there's like a thousand different lures. There's lures, there's bait, there's the different like scents that you can put on them. There's all kinds of different hooks and bobbles and all kinds of crap. And so I've come to the conclusion that you just really can't do it wrong. Like there's no way to fish improperly because if there was, then they wouldn't sell those things and there wouldn't be so many options. Now I know there are many different kinds of fish out there that take different types of bait and all of that. I understand, but yeah, so I'm thinking chickens are about the same way that you, you know, there are some def definite mistakes that you can make. Um, but I think all in all, it's, uh, you know, as, again, as long as you're feeding them and watering them and keeping their place warm and clean, um, you know, it's left to the gods at that point. So here we are. We may do an update later. Hard to say. Have a wonderful day, y'all.